Welcome back to Hannity. Now, following the tragic death of a nine-year-old girl during a drive-by shooting in Ferguson, Missouri, a woman who grew up in St. Louis became so frustrated with the violence in the black community, she posted this critique to her Facebook page. It has now gone viral. Take a look. A little girl is dead. You say black lives matter? Her life matters. Police brutality? How about black brutality? There is real police brutality out there, I'll give you that. But night after night after night on Channel 4, Channel 2, Channel 5, Channel 30, Channel 11, St. Louis Post Dispatch, murder, 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 black on black murder. You think the police are out here for fun? You think they're here, out here for games? They're not going to tuck you in. They're not going to give you a cookie and, and sing you a, a, a lullaby and tuck you in. Millions of views. That clip has gone viral, and its message is resonating all across America. Joining us now, the woman behind that video, Peggy Hubbard. Uh, Peggy, I, wanna, I wanted to reach out when I heard that and give you a big hug and say thank you, because we are seeing in every big city in America, we are seeing young people that have talent and ability that whose lives are being snuffed out. We don't know their names. We don't hear about their names. And it seems that we're a society that is obsessed with, you know, Trayvon Martin, that case, Michael Brown, that case, and Freddie Gray in that case. But nobody wants to talk about the thousands of lives that are being lost in black on black crime. Why do you think there's an unwillingness to deal with this? My take on it, Sean, is to acknowledge this is happening, they have to face their own reality. And they don't want to do that. On my way to the station for this interview, I just found out that a toddler was shot and killed in North St. Louis County, the same area that we just lost Jamila Bolton. This is a nine-year-old who was studying dead. in her house. Yes. Doing her homework. Yes. You know, yes. um, Peggy, one day on this program, when all of the Trayvon Martin stuff was going on and the president weighed in on it, I actually scrolled the names on the bottom of the screen of people we never heard of that were killed in Chicago. Dozens and right. dozens and dozens. Why do these groups focus on the, the few instances, and there, there are examples of, of police that do the wrong thing, and when that happens, they should go to jail. But why not the many? Where's the protest for the, for the young girls like this nine-year-old girl? You never see that. No, you, you, you don't. That's the problem. You know, we want to glorify the criminals, the bad guys. We want to glorify them and give credence to their life. Yeah. I was glad what in the video. What contributions did they make? I was glad in the video. Now, you did use some very spirited language that we had to edit out for television. Uh, <laughs> yes. No, but, I'm, but you know what? It was effective. And if we, I believe that we're all created by the same God, and we're not dealing with a problem, and then when anyone brings it up, if you happen to be white, oh, you're racist for even talking about it. It's no, because I care about people's lives. What is the reaction that you're getting to this viral video now? I've been called uh, Uncle Tom, ancient mama, uh, Good grief. the white man's bed wench. Good grief. Uh, the, the white man's <laughs> part of my French, but that's what I've been called. You know, and it's not a black issue. This is not a white issue. It's a human this issue. Is an, it's a human issue. It's an accountability issue. It's a responsibility issue. Peggy's, That's what it is. They, yeah. they made this about race. This was never about race. This was about right and wrong. Well said. Uh, Peggy, stay right there. I want to bring in Milwaukee County Sheriff. Our friend David Clark is back on the program. Uh, Sheriff, I, I, I think Peggy is extremely courageous. I know you're courageous in what you do. If we love these kids and we want to save these lives, don't we first have to identify that there's a problem that nobody seems to want to talk about? Without a doubt, Sean. First of all, Peggy, I'm proud of you. Uh, I got your back on this one. If things get too Thank out you, of hand sir. down there and too hot for you down in the <laughs> St. Louis area, you give me a call. I'll get you some help down there. But uh, very effective messaging. 
Peggy admits the reality of this whole thing. I've been saying it uh, all along myself. It's the elephant in the room, Sean, as you know, that the, especially the liberal mainstream media does not want to acknowledge because it doesn't fit their false narrative about what's going on in the American ghetto. 75% of the problems of the black community are self-inflicted. Things like father absent homes, things like uh, drug and alcohol abuse, school failure, failure to stay in the workforce. The other tw 25 percent are inflicted by the Democrat Party with their modern liberalism, which is conduct without borders. Okay, they reward underachievement, they make excuses for criminal behavior like black on black crime, and they uh, blame everybody else for the problems that go on within our community. It's a message that our community needs to hear more of the overwhelming majority of people that live in the American ghetto are good law-abiding people but their voice is silenced and we have to hear from the blowhards and they're only their one-trick pony all they can say is racism well you know you had an interesting message about if your own son or your child um, Peggy acted in a way and got caught doing something wrong and went to jail what would you do mm -hmm. you, you had an interesting message there I, I, there's no secret. I put that on, on, on Facebook. Uh, uh, our child decided that he was not going to follow the law. He decided he was going to go out, break the law, hurt people. And what does it say about me as a parent, as, uh, and what does it say about my husband as a parent that we would condone or allow our child to continue to break the law yeah. and we had to do the hardest thing that we had to do and that was to turn them over to the police that is the reality of it and if we get enough people enough parents to say hey you know you have to be accountable for your actions I had a young man on Facebook after the other show that I did that said that it was despicable and deplorable and he called me some very nasty names how dare you as a mother turn in your own child you you did it and out this of love. is coming from our black this comes out of our black neighborhoods this is the mentality of our of our of our young black people I, you know I, this mindset is just gone well I admire you for doing it I hope people listen uh, I think it was very correct I kind of like the salty language though because it makes the point <laughs> it, it, it cuts through a little bit more and I like the cutting through part and I can handle that uh, sheriff God bless you I thank wouldn't you. change a thing I wouldn't I change a thing either thing. I just wish stay I could stay strong air it. Peggy stay strong is right and thank by you, the way if you have thank Sheriff you. Clark on your team you are rock solid trust me uh, <laughs> I, I, then thank you I'll back that team anytime thank you both when we come back, damning new video that exposes Planned Parenthood has just been released. The tapes keep getting worse and worse. We're going to show you the latest undercover clip that the media ignores. That's next.